You might be interested that we went down to Casablanca, which was a beautiful resort city. And uh, when we got to Casablanca, I got a message from a friend of mine who, who was my roommate at, in Chicago at the Ben Shipman School. And, and he said, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm ashore in, in Casablanca, come on over. <laughs> so so I, I, uh, I sent him a message back, give me your address and so forth. It turned out that his ship had been hit by a torpedo and they were there for repairs. And uh, he said he was in a beautiful villa. The French don't mess around, you know. Beautiful villa that that the uh, consul had arranged for them to have because they had been hit by a torpedo and therefore they needed to be nurtured, you know. <laughs> and the place was had the finest drinks you ever saw. And we were we were really living up. He says, "Come stay with." Me. So uh, the next day, he wanted to go out to the country club which was out on the edge of town. And uh, there we were in our uniforms, very officious, you know. Gets <laughs> uh, a cab, uh, and we wanted to go out in the country. And this, this cab driver got very nervous about taking us out into the country, away from protection in, in Casablanca. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and so he and I were talking, we were, we were big pals, we were having a lot of fun back and forth, making a lot of remarks about Casablanca. <laughs> and, and the further we went, the more nervous this taxi driver got. And <laughs> I kept noticing that taxi driver, he was, he had his, he had his eyes on us constantly. And finally, he said, hooray for America! <laughs> He said, when this war is over, I'm going to be a cowboy in Montana. <laughs> I said, good for you. <laughs> After that, everything was okay. <laughs> that was my Casablanca story. <laughs>